The President of the European Commission has warned that Hungary's electorate is being misled by Viktor Orban's Fidesz party. Franz Timmermans, who's also the lead candidate for the European Socialists in the upcoming European elections, has warned of far-right rhetoric from the country's populist leader. With campaigning for the elections in May now well underway, Timmermans said the way forward for Hungary should be to encourage open democracy and that xenophobic attitudes are weakening Hungary. Fidesz is an animal all of its own kind, uh, but I do see them flirting sometimes uh, with others who are on the extreme right. I also see them sometimes coming up with xenophobic uh, 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 messages, uh, and I don't believe the electorate of Fidesz is on that line. I think the electorate of Fidesz are proud Hungarians uh, who have been misled uh, by the leadership into believing that there are enemies everywhere. And I believe the most important thing we can do for Hungarian society is to get rid, to get rid of this phobia for others. Well, our correspondent uh, Sandor Girosh has been following the European election campaign and he's uh, the one who interviewed uh, Timmermans in Budapest. Let's go straight over to him uh, this morning. Morning to you, Sandor. Um, you were at the, the Socialist Conference. Just give us a sense of what the mood was like there and Timmermans' main message. Well, the Hungarian socialists wanted to show that they are in fighting mood. They are directly challenging Viktor Orban. One of the main uh, messages of the Hungarian Socialist Party was to stop Orban. This was the, the main sentence. Uh, Timmerman uh, wanted to show and wanted to raise attention to the Hungarian political issues. But it was very interesting to see that Mr. Timmermans was very, very diplomatic when he was talking about uh, Mr. Orban. For example, I asked him if he thinks if Mr. Orban was a far-right politician and he refused to say so. He said that, uh, as you heard in the report also, that it's, a, it's an animal of its own kind, but he didn't say anything specific also on corruption, which is a major issue in Hungary. He just said that Hungary should join the European prosecutor office. So Mr. Timmermans probably realized that challenging Mr. Orban directly in a very aggressive way in Hungary is not bringing votes to their party and he was very diplomatic in a sense. He told about uh, if you see hatred, for example, you have to give back love and the socialists and the voters should uh, think about the future generations and get rid of xenophobia, but there was no direct concrete attack on Mr. Orban. Mm, uh, interesting that you mentioned there that Timmermans was aware of the reaction he might have. What has that reaction in Hungary uh, been, particularly from Orban's government? There was no direct uh, reaction yet from the government, but the government side is attacking Timmermans since weeks, since weeks because probably they realize that uh, he might be a potential danger for them. Uh, three weeks ago we interviewed here in Brussels the government's spokesperson who called Mr. Timmermans to resign from his position or to suspend his position at the European Commission. He is the first vice president of the European Commission and he is overseeing the rule of law portfolio and he does a lot of work uh, regarding Hungary's rule of law issues. The Hungarian government says that it's not fair that Timmermans is leading a campaign for the socialists and he's overseeing this important portfolio. 